Hello guys, how are you? So, today I'm gonna talk about something that you've been asking to me a lot. So I decided to solve all of your doubts and give you all the information that you need to know about my mastery and my academic routine. Yes, I'm gonna talk about like what courses I'm taking, how is my routine, how many days during the week I have classes, and all that stuff. So then you will understand everything about my master program here at KTH. So to begin with, I have to tell you that all the masters here, or most of them, or the majority of the, the masters here, are taught in English. So my master is called Sustainable Technologies and of course it's in English because I don't speak Swedish, yaha. So, Basically, the Sustainable Technology Master is a two years program and I'm doing the first one here in Sweden. This is because, as you already know, I'm from the program Science Without Borders and I'm just here in Sweden for one year. So I'm doing, I'm taking the first year of the master. So basically, my program in Brazil, Science Without Borders, says that we need to choose 60 credits between all the courses that we are gonna do. Here at KTH, through this program, Science Without Borders, okay, I'm gonna stop, you already know that it's Science Without Borders, okay, 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 I'm, I'm gonna stop. Because it's Science Without Borders, the program, it's already like the package, it's already done when you choose. I choose the Sustainable Technology one, but in the program the name was Industrial Ecology, but it's the same, and it already came with eight, eight courses in it. So basically in the first semester, in other words, the second semester of 2014, yeah, we are in five to 2015, yeah, I think so, yeah, yes we are. <laughs> I studied Introduction to Industrial Ecology, Ecologic Economics, Technology and Ecosystems, and Environmental System Analysis and Decision Making. So, from September to December, or beginning of January actually, I had these four courses, but I have to explain you something first. In the first part of the semester, I was with three courses, and then the second one, two courses, but like one of them was the same. And just so you know, the one that was during the whole semester was the technology and ecosystems one. Okay. So, during the second semester, which is right now, from January to June, I'm taking four courses as well, and one of them is again during the whole semester. So, the name of the courses in this semester are Cleaner Production, which is the one that lasts the whole semester, Waste Management, and Environmental Management 1 and 2. So, basically, this is my schedule, like, this is like the courses that I'm taking during the whole year. All of this together represents 60 credits, which is basically one year of master program. We're gonna ask, Rodrigo, how is your routine? So I'm gonna answer you right now. Every time I wake up, like, um, and then I check my com in my computer and the KTH website which classes I'm gonna take in that day and where it will be because this is important here in KTH you have classes everywhere you can have the same course happening in different classes like during the whole semester so every day you have to check if you will have classes in the building E in the room 23 for example or if you're gonna have classes in the building M in the classroom 12. So basically you have two options to, I don't know, to build your timetable and to check every day. So you basically access the KTH website, you put your login they're gonna receive when you become an, a student, and then in this bar here you can press on schedule, and then you're gonna have all of your schedule here. If you want, you can also import your schedule for your iPhone, for example, or other smartphone that you have. And of course, I have to talk about the length of one class. Every single class that I'm taking, it lasts two hours. But, you have the first 
15 minutes to get into the class. So it's really important to don't be late. Once the class starts, you have kind of one hour of class and then you have a short break of 10 minutes maybe, it really depends on the professor, but generally it's like 10 minutes, 15 in the maximum. And then you have the second period of the class, which is like less than an hour. So it's pretty okay, don't worry, and it's really, really, I don't know, it's effective. I think it is. Like, for example, just so you know, in Brazil, one class in my university is four hours. And the break in the middle, it's up to the professor, so he can choose if he wants to give you or not. So, who can pay attention in another person for four hours? Please tell me, girl, like even my mom would be extremely bored if she watched one of my videos for like four hours. So, point for KTH. But don't think it's gonna be easy just because you have two hours of classes. We have a lot of work to do. This includes home assignments, projects, group works, group assignments, exams and many other things especially in my program the sustainable technologies one we just had exams in the in the courses that we had in the whole semester in other words i just had a proper exam like a presential exam last period in the technology and ecosystems course because it was during the whole semester and in this period, I'm just gonna have an exam of cleaner production, which is the course that I'm taking for the whole semester. And finally, I have to tell you how is like the delivery process, like to give back your homeworks and everything to the professor. In Brazil, I was used to bring to my professor like printed or I don't know, bring in a USB and give to him. But here is really, really, really efficient. The system is through Builda. Builda is kind of platform. I'm, I'm gonna show you right now. So this is Builda. It's builda.kth.se. As you can see, all of my courses are concentrated here and every time that I need to deliver a uh, work or uh, assignment, I just click here and click in the assignments and then it's just to send. It's really, really easy and it's very, 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 very useful. So guys, that's it. I hope you liked the video. I talked about everything related to my course and I hope this time I solve all your doubts about my program and about my course and about everything. If you have any more questions, just write down here. You can write in Portuguese if you're a Brazilian, no worries. If you like the video, please thumbs up because it helps a lot the channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, please click in subscribe because then every time that I'm gonna launch the video, you receive first. I hope you enjoy this video and see you next week, next Thursday in, 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 focus on my finger. I don't know why I wanted to focus on my finger, but in, 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 hey,